So the burning question on everyone's mind is, do biologic drugs actually work and how often? Well, you've come to the right place because we will explore all of that and more in this podcast. So the first study that I want to bring your attention to is a systematic review and meta-analysis that was published just last year. And this study revealed that 67% of rheumatoid arthritis patients who were treated with biologics achieved complete remission after a follow-up period of 6 to 12 months. Now, the results of this analysis, which encompassed a total of 16,934 rheumatoid arthritis patients who had been treated with biologics, might seem remarkable to you, but it's crucial that we take a closer look and understand that these remission rates might not be as straightforward as they first seem. So remission, as defined in these studies, signifies a significant reduction in symptoms and inflammation. But it doesn't guarantee a complete absence of disease. So some level of residual disease activity might still be present. And even these minimal symptoms can have a significant impact. Also, this study revealed another interesting trend that the effectiveness of biologics tended to decrease with age. So this finding emphasises the importance of considering age as a factor. So the next study that we will consider compared the effectiveness of some of the most common biologic drugs on um, both older patients and disabled rheumatoid arthritis patients. And the results of this study showed a range of effectiveness, and this varied between 23% and 30%. And this finding highlights the reality that biologics may not yield the same results for everybody. And another study examined the efficiency of a specific group of biologic drugs, and these are called JAK inhibitors. And this study looked at the effect of these drugs on patients with moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis. And according to the study findings, the um, the rates of efficiency of JAK inhibitors in this group uh, ranged from approximately 20% to 43.4%. So this is a similar kind of range of effectiveness as we've seen in the previous studies. And it suggests that a significant proportion of these patients didn't actually respond to the treatment. Um, and they may not achieve the desired responses or remission with JAK inhibitors alone. This finding highlights the fact that JAK inhibitors might not be a universally effective treatment for everybody, and some patients might need to use these in combination with other treatments. So based on the current evidence um, that we have at the moment, while biologic medications are a valuable tool in managing rheumatoid arthritis, It's important that we acknowledge they might not be a complete solution for everybody and it may take some time to find a suitable medication and this might include lily pad hopping from one drug to another in the process until we find an effective biologic drug. And even if you do find a drug that's effective for you, its efficiency might start to dwindle over time and that can leave you starting to search for another alternative treatment again. So science supported lifestyle habits can provide an additional avenue for patients who do not respond optimally to biologic medications. So when we're talking about science supported lifestyle habits, uh, we're thinking about things like adopting an anti-inflammatory diet, increasing our exercise, managing stress levels, and also prioritizing our sleep. And all of these um, interventions can help to reduce inflammation, to support overall health and potentially to even enhance the effectiveness of medications such as biologic drugs. So if you are looking for a programme that will cover all aspects of lifestyle changes that can help with your rheumatoid arthritis symptoms and how you can incorporate these to work in parallel with your biologic drug treatment, then head on over to RoomToidSolutions.com to find out more. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment below, and I will see you in the next video.